Hi, so this is question seven in the downloadable worksheet on standard form. And if you click on the link below, that will take you through to the website and you can download all of the questions. In this particular question, we're going to be dealing with standard form. And what it's asking us to do is to write this number, which is 40 million in standard form. OK, well, basically, standard form is all about, really, how far has the decimal point moved? And it's moved three, six seven places to create a number which is 4.0 if you prefer or just four and that's times 10 to the power of seven so it's moved seven decimal places okay uh, if you're not sure about these then please do have a look at the playlist and that'll give you some pointers on how to do and how to work with standard form Okay, this one is question B, which is 1.4 times 10 to the power of minus 5. Write that in a normal number, as they call it. Well, it's telling me the decimal point has moved minus 5 places. So, in other words, the number is smaller. The easiest way, I think, of dealing with this is just simply to put a whole load of zeros in place before the number and very clearly show your calculation that you've moved 5 places so it's gone once, twice, three, four, five places. So the answer to this particular question would be 0 0.000014. Be really careful with these. Because you're dealing with so many zeros, it's very easy to make a bit of a mistake. OK, on to uh, part C. Uh, the way I would calculate this is I'd separate the two uh, numbers here and then the standard form element of it and I write it separately as 5 times 6 times 10 to the power of 4 times 10 to the power of 9 okay so I've separated those out 5 times 6 is going to be 30 and 10 to the power of 4 times 10 to the power of 9 well if you remember your indices laws you add the indices together so that becomes 10 to the power of uh, 13. Okay, be again a little bit careful with these because that's not strictly speaking in standard form, so they're usually two mark questions. One mark is awarded for that, and then one mark will be awarded for writing 3 times 10 to the power of 14, which would be the correct answer. Um, I hope that's okay for you, and the uh, next video on standard form on this particular paper is coming up very soon.